beginning seems so hard to start? How come our lives seem to grow so far apart? There's some titles that are were written when I was very young, and there's some that were written just for this project. So it's really almost a tapestry of my life, really, in, in so many respects. We, we all lose people we love, when that can be from parents, to friends, to siblings, to offspring. Unfortunately, most of us do not experience that. However, I've experienced actually all the above. Losing my daughter was obviously the, the most difficult, and that's something you think about every day. I keep her picture on my phone, for example, my, that I carry with me. Remember what is good in life. I actually wrote the day I buried her. And was it worth the price we paid? Was it worth the sacrifice? Was my love so cheap you could throw it all? I was performing and on one of the breaks I walked out into the crowd and there was a, a gentleman in the crowd I didn't know but I had seen before and he was sitting by himself so I sat down we, we talked for a little while real friendly yeah, Ed Walker was his name and he gave me a short story to take home but it dealt about a relationship between two siblings because most kids when they're growing up whether they have offspring or whether a best friend or a neighbor they always have some place where they can kind of go and escape whether it be that fort or there be a park or in, in this particular story it was a bank of a creek Brent Creek Outstretched down to a dangle a line for you. And I just made a short little list of like my favorite country musicians across the country. And this is like, well, who's my favorite guitarist? Who's my favorite bassist? And I contacted them all and said, I'm going to do this project. Are you willing to do it with me? And every one of them said yes. On the bank was where we meet. Eyes barely seven. Maybe it wasn't clear to see. Did I sit and watch your dreams drift by? Was I just too young to see? Was the branch in the wet trying to slow them down? Past the rock, the deer, the tree. I became a diabetic early 90s. And I've been kind of, I've been quite brittle. I mean, I've had, I've gone into comas and and passed out, that kind of thing. The earliest chronic disease I had was multiple sclerosis. Uh, two doctors had told me I'd be in a wheelchair by 96. And in 97, there was a moment where it was really hard for me to walk. There's a lot of people that have experienced far worse than I have, but don't have near the blessings that I have, or the good things. You need balance, you need contrast in life. And it's not so much important what you can't do. It's more important what you can do. If something moves me, I'll put it in a song. <laughs>